Fifty years ago, inhabitants of the Earth approached the moon and landed on it six times. Eugene Cernan and Jack Schmidt were the last humans to have walked on the moon. I was rolling on the moon one day in a merry, merry month of December. Now, May. May. May is the month. May, that's right. May is the year of the month. They gathered 110 kilos of rocks to take back to Earth, and one final rock to which they attached symbolic value. We'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. Three, two, one, ignition. Then they went away, abandoning the moon to the silence of space. Fifty years later, what about that declaration of peace? An inhabitant of the moon watching the earthlings coming and going would have a pretty shrewd idea of the forces involved on the blue planet. Fifty years ago, the logic of the world dictated that the United States took the first step. The 12 astronauts who walked on the moon were all American. Then, Soviet rovers landed here, then a Chinese, and quite recently, an Indian. Europe, Japan, and Brazil have flown over it. 